All right, again, we have about another month since the last video, so just showing how things are going. Apples galore up that tree. There's four kinds of apples on that tree, all grafted on. Here we got little watermelons. So these melons did put out, there's some honeydew or cantaloupe, but I'm not really sure. Another watermelon. I actually ate just a couple of them yesterday. Should have waited a little longer because they weren't quite ripe yet, but I was really surprised. You're not really supposed to be able to grow melons and stuff in this part of the country. Uh, the peas, not a lot. The beans, everything's still looking pretty much the same as as one month ago, just bigger. Unless lettuce is going to seed, the pumpkin is kind of taking over the patch. Green onions and onions are doing really good. Impressed, and then there's just some jalapenos and stuff. And the tomatoes are starting to get ripe here, so hoping the frost doesn't come and kill things off. But who knows? That's a tomato plant planted from seed a little late. And uh, here's the Atlantic Giant. It's not too big. I'm not overly impressed, but next year I've got plans. I've got plans for something big for that thing. Uh, cucumbers did really good. So happy with that. Corn, I'm already finding some ripe cobs, so enjoying those. And last time you seen this thing, everything was dead inside, but I had replanted. Uh, right now, just because it's getting towards the end of the season, I've been playing around a lot with just adding a lot of nutrients, playing around with feed cycles and things like that to try to find something that works. And just the last week or so, uh, I've noticed that the plants are responding a lot better to having a lot more chemicals, what I thought before was too much. Now I'm finding was maybe not enough, so... That's what I'm looking at right now. Here's the inside. I got a got did get a second battery. I got another air pump, and I have those extra solar panels from the last video. I still want to go 100% solar with this project, but I'm still running the pump off the house power. So I'm almost there. I'm just gonna just using my parts per million tester to see like. Now it's running close to a thousand parts per million, whereas before I think I was running like 350, 400, so I'm going to try to even take that up to maybe 1400 and see how they do. But it's alright, it's still alive at least. Always next year. The fan and the whole system still runs well, but I'm going to be making some changes for next year for sure. And that's about it. That's all I got for now, and possibly next time there might be one more video.